Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com and in this episode I'm going to show you how to change the graphic that is displayed when the screensaver kicks in on your PanelView Plus 6, 7 and PanelView Plus CE models or Versa View CE models. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Here you can see I'm connected to my PanelView Plus CE and PanelView Plus 7 using VNC, something we covered in a previous episode. And I'm going to stop by exiting to the Windows CE desktop on my PanelView Plus CE. And then I'll go into the Stop menu and open up Windows Explorer. Now over on my PanelView Plus 7, I'll also exit to the desktop, but here I have to enter in a password. Once I get that in, I'll go ahead and go to the Stop menu and launch Windows Explorer there as well. Now back on my PanelView Plus CE, I have both a USB flash drive and a compact flash card inserted. And on them, I have my very own 800 by 800 pixel bitmap, which is a logo for the automation school and it's named SS Taz Gear. Now I'm going to copy it from that external storage to the internal storage by navigating to the Windows directory of the PanelView Plus. And then I'll go ahead and paste my own logo in that directory. And now I'm going to go over to the PanelView Plus 7 and do the same exact thing. Now with my new logo in the Windows folder on each unit, I'm going to go ahead and open the control panel on each unit. And then on the PanelView Plus CE, I'm going to go ahead and open Display Properties. Now on the PanelView Plus 7, in the Displays Property Applet, in the Screensaver tab, I'm going to remove the SS Float bitmap and then add my SS Taz Gear bitmap to the list. Now, you may see here that it looks like you can have multiple bitmaps, and you can, except that Rockwell doesn't recommend it. They say you can run into memory issues if you have too many images here in this list, so they only recommend having one, at least as far as I could find in the free knowledge based documents I have access to. And then on the PanelView Plus CE, under the Screen Saver tab, I'm going to change the default SS Float bitmap to my new SS Taz Gear bitmap. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK to save my settings and I'm going to close the control panel and I'm going to go ahead and run ViewME. Now in order for your logo to actually show up when the screensaver starts, you also have to have that setting enabled under Terminal Settings, Display, Screensaver, Advanced Settings, and here you can see the selection right there. Now once you change this selection, you must hit OK to save your changes. And then back here on the screen saver screen, you also have to click on OK to save your changes. And now we'll back out all the way to the main configuration menu and wait for the screen saver to kick in to see if we get my logo instead of the AB logo. Now after five minutes have passed, you can see here, my new logo is being displayed on both the PanelView Plus CE and the PanelView Plus 7. Now if you'd like to learn how to do the same thing on the original PanelView Plus, the ones that don't have access to the CE desktop, then check out the next episode in this series. And with that, that's the end of this episode. Now if you know anybody who would like to learn all about the PanelView Plus and how to program it and set it up and communicate to it, please send them over to theautomationschool.com to check out my course, PVP Basics. And if you have any questions about what I covered today, please feel free to post them over in my free forum, theautomationforums.com. And with that, that's the end of this episode. Until next time, peace.